White to move. Test 13. Level 1400 to 1600. Pause it here. This game is Ivan Chuck versus Leko. Moriella, 2008. White to move. So we can look at how this game occurred. Check. Check. Pretty crazy line. Check. Here's the position we arrived at. White has two rooks for a queen, but he's behind in development. Black's bishops seem quite active, and e4 to e3, opening up the terrifying h1 to a8 diagonal, is in the air. Since White's rooks should theoretically be able to dominate the queen if he solidifies his position and kills off Black's activity, Ivan Chuck's move makes a lot of sense, explaining the writing spread. I think most 1400s would notice the potential danger along the h1 a8 diagonal. And since this section is all about bishops, it stands to reason that the answer has something to do with them. Thus, bishop e3, preventing that diagonal from being opened by e4 to e3, is something well within a 1400's range. Bishop e3 exclaimed. This blocks the e-pawn, which in turn makes sure that the h1 a8 diagonal won't become a factor in the subsequent play. Queen e5, exclaim, an important maneuver for black. By forcing g2 to g3, knight f1 is also possible, but then the knight would be relegated to passive defense. Black hopes to use his queen in a8 bishop to take advantage of the subsequent light square holes that his pawn advance, that this pawn advance created. The battle is very interesting. White is doing his best to block his opponent's light squared bishop, while black is doing everything in his power to create new diagonals for it that will ultimately allow game-saving counterplay against the white king. Opening the a-file allows the a1 rook to become active. Selman gives a4 an exclaim. Black will be in serious trouble if both rooks manage to penetrate into the enemy camp. The battle lines are now clearly drawn. What will invade the hostile position first? White's rooks or Black's light squared bishop and queen? The rest of this very complicated game, given with minimal notes, will see both players battling to make their respective goals come true. B4, double question mark, would be a blunder since it allows White to get rid of one of the enemy bishops and open new files for his rooks. And all of White's dreams have been realized.
So bishop c6 was playing the game. King of g8. After bishop takes b3, black's tied up, but since rook Check. takes f8, Check. bishop t takes Check. c5 check is only a draw. It's not clear if white has any way to make decisive use of the pinned f8 bishop. Black can easily generate counterplay on the king side. Light square holes. For example, if bishop f4, or rook a c8, bishop e6. Not too sure about that sideline. Bishop c4. Bishop d6. Queen h3. And suddenly black is the one in the driver's seat. So it's it's hard for white to get more than just the material back. I mean, I think if we were to count the material... Black is up a, a clear piece. So, anyway, let's go through the game. Instead of bishop takes b3, king g8 is played. Knight c1 exclaimed, the knight is heading for f4. If black can't achieve counterplay against white's weakened kingside light squares, he's, he's doomed. And not rook takes b5, question mark. When white has nothing better than rook b3 giving up the exchange. Black's primed and ready to go on the offensive via bishop h3 followed by queen f3 or bishop e6 to g4 to f3. So either put the bishop here or here and the queen accompanying it. Things now get very tense. Check. King g6 exclaimed question mark was probably more accurate. I don't know why this does not seem like one of the more interesting, to me at least, examples. It doesn't seem right to take this rook off the d-file and out of the attack. Instead, knight e2 appears stronger. So, rook e1 was played in the game. The idea is that queen f3 fails to rook takes e7. Bishop h3. Check. Check. King g4. If g takes f4. Check. Rook e5. Check. Checkmate. Okay. Maybe white didn't see that variation. Ricky one looks safer in some ways. Oh, I'm sorry. There was another line here.
King G4. Rook G7, and black is dead. It almost looks like a Zugzwang. I think it is. Let's say they play here. The knight takes bishop. Okay. Okay. Since this book is not a this is a book of concept and not endless analysis. I'll leave it to the interested reader to figure out the ultimate worth of knight e2. Queen f6, double question mark. A blunder. Correct was bishop h3. Finally leaping at his light square chances. f4. Queen h5. What about ampersand? And this, this wins. It looks like. Okay. And not taking with the other rook because of the mate. Queen h5. This is still a sideline. Rook e2. Queen f3. And black is okay. Not taking this bishop here. Here. Check. Hmm. Not sure the refutation there, but that'll be a good puzzle. Okay. Queen f6, double question mark. Rook b8, 1 0. So it looks like white's about to be able to activate their rooks, and that's why black resigned. 